It is the same match, uh, the same game we played in the last uh, five occasions. Uh, under control, with all the possession, with the opponent uh, denying the spaces behind the behind the last line, grouping in front of the box, and always with the risk of uh, suffer one one transition. But I think we did it. Uh, we did it all right. I remember one transition in the first half, dangerous. Uh, but we didn't run back so much today, or too much today, as, as in, for example, the last game we played here against Polo Juan. I think today was more, more under control. I think the first half was, was really good, uh, fully controlled, chances, quite all right in set pieces as well. But still missing that that early goal that can can make uh, can do the game much more easy for us. Uh, it's a risk to go to the second half nil nil. Always, especially for both teams in this case, they play a few days ago. We play a few days ago. It's our uh, game number six in the space of 18 or 19 days. So what it happens in the second half is, I think, normal. The game was more. It was a bit broken. There was a moment in the second half that we didn't have control. Probably after the subs, it takes a bit of time to to find ourselves again in the right positions. And the end of the game was more about us chasing one goal at any form or way to do it. Uh, probably not the most orthodox in the last uh, in the last uh, part of the second half. Uh, but yeah, obviously important three points for the team, well deserved, uh, and yeah, that's all. Two questions from the floor. Any questions? No ones? Coach, Coach Guilherme, Coach Guilherme, Coach Guilherme, Coach Guilherme, Coach Guilherme, Coach Guilherme, uh, coach, would you say that uh, you are overall happy with uh, how uh, uh, the players are playing themselves tonight? You know, in light of uh, the previous results, would you say that there was an improvement in uh, strategy? Mm. I, I need to analyze the match uh, deeply to know if we <coughs> improve. Uh, <laughs> we improve. In the goal scoring, that's obvious. We scored one goal in the recent games. We have problems to to find the net, and probably that's the main difference to, difference tonight. I think the first half was at the level of the the previous matches, the recent matches. I think we playing good football. Uh, you probably don't check the stats, the conditional ones, but. The amount of running that these guys are doing in each and every game is something uh, out of the, you know, the, 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 the normal dimension of this league. So they try and they're doing everything. That's why I'm proud of them. And that's what I say to the guys right now in the locker room. It's, it's amazing the way that they are still insisting in the things that we want to do after three or four results that were, were not easy for us to assimilate. But they try again tonight, and that's the that's a very good symptom of uh, the health of the team. And yeah, let's see. We are, like I said, we need to go deeply to analyze. I think we play at the level than in the recent games. But the only difference tonight is that we managed to score a goal, and then everything looks much better. Uh, cool. uh, Coach, uh, Maswanga. He was playing today, I think, mostly deep uh, and, and also just too wide, but he looks to be one of the best carriers of the world that you have tonight. Why, why was he playing uh, that deep or that, you know, too wide when he could have been maybe further up? And also on, on aliens, he looked to be, you know, collecting more balls going away from goals than actually attacking the goals. Are you able to understand where that was? No, uh, the, the Patrick, 
he played today as a seven, uh, as, a, as a right winger. But usually our, our right winger is it's, it's playing inside. Um, so we, we play with three, usually we play with three number tens. I know you like to talk about systems, but our system is a bit abstract, let's say. But Tito is usually playing those small pockets in the, in the half spaces. And actually, one of the corrections in the half time was to to fight, find him higher on the field uh, because of the way that that Polo Kwane, uh, sorry, Polo Kwane, uh, Sekukune was was pressing today with the left winger. Uh, we have opportunities there in that space, and sometimes he was too close to CBC and, and in the same line with Taviso. Uh, but in the moment that, for for example, when when we switch the positions with Lorch and Lorch start to collect more balls in that space, they, they create a very clear chance uh, between him and Taviso. There was a one-two that Taviso finished with a shot, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, that that Lorch was ready in a one against one with the goalkeeper. So we have we have clear the spaces to to occupy there, but I don't think that that Patrick today was especially when we play with Monjani in the right. The lateral corridor used to be for him and only for him. And about Mahopa, it's true that he was he was doing a lot of movements to to force Cardoso to go out of position in the in our right hand side. But not with the intention to play to evidence there. It was more about remove Cardoso out of position to create other options. But instead of denying the pass to Mahopa, we were playing too much to, to evidence. So then looks that evidence is doing something wrong. Do, do you follow me? Do, did I express myself? But the intention was not to play to that movement. It was to remove Cardoso and attack with, well, with other options from second line and from the opposite side with Karim. But we finish playing to that corners. I think we collect mostly throw-ins. And I, I remember one side free kick and one corner from that movement of Mahopa. But the inter Mahopa is a player that likes to to st take distance with the center backs, link and collect. And he's doing a good job in that sense for us. Uh, but especially when we are facing these low blocks, it's important that we have more presence in the box because suddenly we can create a cutback or one cross from the lateral corridors and we need the reference of the striker there, there as well. But what you mentioned before, it was intentional from the game plan, but not to fit that passes. We don't want to play passes to the, to the corner flag. We want to provoke something else. I'm not going to, you know, explain everything, uh, but, but, uh, but yeah, those are not the areas where we want to find our striker, obviously, yeah. Uh, Coach, it would be silly of me to suggest that you are happy to be out of the cup competitions, but do you see this uh, pro fixture list for you now without distraction, just a clear league fixture list until you begin the next Cup in February as an, as an opportunity to really now push forward and get yourself back amongst the front runners? Obvious, there's no other option. I mean, unfortunately, I'm not happy to be out of the of the Champions League or the or the, this uh, Carling Cup. Um, but once you are not there, it's an opportunity to to focus in the league. I'm, 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 I've said many times that the league is the most important competition for every team. Maybe somebody can feel that. Champions League is the most, for me, the 30 games in, in your domestic competition are the most important. Our schedule was strange. Uh, we play early in the league, we play quick, if I'm not mistaken, four games, and then we disappear. We were not in the league anymore. We were playing three other competitions. Uh, we have a good run in the MTN. We didn't succeed in the Champions League. and. It happens what it happens in the last game in the Carling Cup. So it seems that we were not participating in the league uh, with the frequency that you need to be. For. It's difficult to. It, this is not an excuse. Eh? I mean, the schedule is what it is. We accept it from the beginning. The moment that you accept it, you have to go. Uh, but it's difficult to prepare yourself, especially mentally, to say, today I play for three points. 
Tomorrow I play for one trophy in a final. After tomorrow I'm playing in a quarter finals in a different competition. Three days later I'm playing for qualify to the group stage. So it's it's not it's not easy and it's one of the things that we need to do better. We need to improve because eventually pirates will be always there in that mixture of competitions early in the season where participate is not enough. You have to you have to succeed, you have to go to the last stages in every competition. And it's one of the things that we need to do better, definitely. But like you said, now we have the opportunity to to put all of our energy in the in the league and uh, start to, to to write our 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 history our story story in, in this competition as well. Final two questions. Hi, coach. Well done on the win, coach. Thank you. Obviously, you, you said the concern is the goal scoring. I just wanted to ask, is there a possibility of going back to a striker's coach like you did earlier in the year, or do you think ah, no, you on. can sort it out amongst yourselves? <laughs> and also, uh, with, with Chaile um, obviously being injured, does it affect the way you play? Because Melusi doesn't seem to be as comfortable on the ball. Does that bother you, or do you just focus on his strengths? We try to... The, the <laughs> The players have more relevance in the way of playing than the coaches in general. I mean, I, I try to <coughs> adapt the game plan and all the things that we do depending on who is on the field. We are not, or I'm not, uh, it's a dogmatic, the word, like that something becomes like dogma for us and we have to know we there's always little adaptations depending if we play with King Woody as a 10 or we play with Romeo or so we try to mitigate our problems in front of the goal not problems uh, yeah, obstacles let's say uh, trying to find other ways to score the goals today it, it came the goal came in a Combination in the central corridor, full of quality, talent of the players to combine, to play one-twos in the areas where we want. But sometimes we need also to to open the field, to use the 70 meters, to play crosses, to have more presence in the box. So we try to always find different ways to do it, depending who is who is on the field. So I'm like I'm used to say, I'm not concerned, I'm not worried, I'm busy with the with the situation because we need to. We need to score early in the games, obviously, because when you go to the last 30 minutes of the games with the quality in the league, with the games broken, everything can happen. And we were in that scenarios. So we need to 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 find the net early or more early in the games. And the same answer, it's useful for your second question, if you think about it. Final question. Anyone hasn't had an opportunity? Alan Tamba, stop sniffing. Congratulations on the win, coach. Thank you. I'm sure it comes at a very, you know, expected moment when you need positivity in your team. Mm -hmm. Coach, um, the team is full of positiveness, trust me. <laughs> I like to hear that. Coach, what, from my observation, every, <coughs> sorry, every team that comes to play against Pirates, they always go for the deep block, like you say, low, low block. What is it that they see in you that makes them want to come and be defensive, first and not take you part for part, like your cheaper will do, your sundowns will do, and how difficult is it to break those teams for you? And on the personal <coughs> note, your Spaniard, Ferro Spaniard, has lost a player, Amazulu. Um, have you spoken to the coach about that? Um, or anyone at Amazulu to pass conferences? No, I didn't have the opportunity so far. Hopefully, uh, after the derby in the FIFA break, we will have a bit more time to to answer messages in our phones and have the opportunity to talk with some of my, my colleagues here. But from here, I, 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 I take the chance to send the condolences to the, to the whole uh, Amazulu family, not only to, to, to the head coach. Um, it's sad news, obviously. And um, the first question, <coughs> 
It was a, what was the but first? What, what is it that you think makes them? Ah, the low blocks. Look. Mm. My, I have a question for you. <laughs> you, th you because sometimes I can, I can, I can feel, I can notice that the opponent is coming to play a low block, and sometimes it's pilots pushing the opponent to the low block. You understand what I mean? So you should have asked the opponent coach to say, did you plan the game to play in low block? And then he did. He did. Mm -hmm. uh, look, <coughs> the reasons, I, I think it, uh, oof, it's coming a headline, whatever I say now. <laughs> I thought you've got your dog by now. You're free, you relax, you're speaking well. Go ahead, sir. I'm speaking well, no, I'm, uh, I'm looking for a teacher, actually. Well, <laughs> no. Uh, low block, I mean, every, everything is fine in football. And uh, I think it's coming, a, it's coming, no, it's already here, a change of uh, trend in the way of football. The game position, the positional attacks, uh, you know, the opponent analyze and it's difficult when you have uh, 10 players in front of the box. But the, the, the most difficult thing for me of the low blocks is to, as a, as a player is, accept it. You understand? You as a player, you want to go to the field, you want to have spaces, you want to run with the ball, you want to attack and suddenly you find 10 players in front or nine. And usually what happens is that you lose the patience. You know, you want to score early, so the opponent starts to open spaces, and in, in that lack of patience, usually the transitions are coming. And it's that type of scenarios where you feel that you are in control, because you have, uh, what was the game? Cape Town Spurs, I think we had 80% uh, of possession, 79, something like that. Amazulu, the same, Richards Bay, the same. Today, I don't know, but I guess it was pretty much the same. So you feel that you are in control, but there's two, three moments in the games that it's difficult for the player to say, ah, the opponent is on the ball, but, you know, Olisa will take it, or CBC will take it, and we attack again. And suddenly not, you know, and suddenly you find yourself in a three against two or in a four against three, and the opponent can score. So it's one way to is an acceptable way to deal with teams that use a lot of players in attack because usually you are attacking but you have 60 meters in your back that the opponent can use in the moment. They only need to steal one ball. They only need to wait for one mistake. So it's, in a way, it's a simplistic, simplistic way to approach the game, but it's, it's one opportunity for the opponent to collect points against teams that are playing with Monjani and Joto in the last line, with uh, three number tens, with, you know. But at the same time, for us, it's an opportunity to be every time on the ball. That's what we want. And usually when we are, I, I will say that what happened in the, in the previous games is a bit exceptional because we, we produce a lot of goal chances and we should have opened the game early today, for example. Even if, it's a, if you are that close, you are provoking set pieces. A lot of things can happen. Why they do decide to do it, I don't know. I guess it's because they feel that you know, it's an opportunity for them to, to collect three points in a, in a transition. Simple.